when they have a sepalika baby the feeling is indescribable especially when the couple has had many previous rounds of failed iui and ivf two out of three ivf cycles done anywhere in the world fail most couples don't know this going in they don't realize that they most likely have to undergo multiple cycles of ivf before they can have a baby in each round there are hormone injections and other serious medications that can cause side effects there are costs that run into lakhs of rupees and the least discussed aspect the emotional heartbreak of failure why does an advanced technique like ivf not work every time i'm sharda agarwal and at sepalika women's hormone health clinic we believe that any medical procedure that does not fix the core foundational health of couples does not give them the best chance to have a healthy baby iui and ivf begin and end with the reproductive system this seems logical at first but if you to look deeper you will see how this may not work the kind and quality of food we eat the polluted environments of our cities the career and life stress we all have the later age at which working couples start planning families these are all 21st century realities that hamper conception but ivf ignores all of these and tries to directly power its way through the reproductive system this is where sepalika way paths from conventional infertility and ivf approach at sepalika we are on a mission to give every couple the best shot at being naturally fertile we do this by treating their health as a five story building At the lowest or the foundational floor is the food that you eat. Are you getting the right balance of proteins, carbs and fats that your body needs? Are you digesting, absorbing and eliminating food well? Without that, you simply can't create a new life. The floor above are the micronutrients your body needs. These vitamins like D3 and B12 and minerals like iron and zinc are needed in very small quantities. but if they are lacking hundreds of functions in the body including reproduction are negatively impacted the next health floor is the all important master gland of energy production the thyroid creation of new life is a very energy intensive process and if your cells don't have enough thyroid hormone or they can't use it for some reason you won't be able to have a baby above this is your sleep and overall ability to handle stress This can be such a crucial factor for fertility since hormones estrogen progesterone and testosterone can be hugely impacted by unmanaged stress and poor sleep. Finally, the top floor is your fertility. This is the floor that your IVF experts are working on. The five factors in this floor, the egg, the sperm, the uterus, the fallopian tubes and the ovary all depend on the health of the lower floors. Unless the floors below are strong and stable, this floor will be shaky with poor outcomes for two out of three couples in each ivf round so that's the hard truth we are not against ivf we just feel that even when there is no option except ivf it should only be done after the health foundations of the couple have been optimized that is why we happily work with couples who are forced to go on to ivf due to certain structural defects like blocked fallopian tubes While the IVF doctors do their job, we strengthen the four foundational floors so that the chances of success in any given IVF round can be higher. Many of the babies born to Sepalika parents were conceived and nurtured naturally after previous IUI or IVF rounds had failed. Give yourself the best chance to be naturally fertile. Give your baby the best chance of a healthy start in life. We wish you vibrant health and well-being.